this summer we're focused on creating a new class of surfactants, uh, new materials that we can use in the polyurethane foam industry. Producers are trying to become more green, more ecologically conscious, so they're using different oils. We're working with soybean oil. Being able to implement these green chemistry techniques, I think it's going to be really great for the environment because you're learning these new techniques which might be more efficient at what they're trying to do, and that's what we hope to do with our process. The end goal is that we make foams that are more efficient than what's out there right now. If we can do that, just opening the doors for developing even better techniques. The exciting part of science is getting into the lab and finding something new. I like to be challenged in the lab, and I think that's kind of the best way to learn. Until you're doing something 40 hours a week in the lab, that's when you're really getting a good idea if it's something you want to do. We believe that our undergraduates are better prepared for graduate school, for industry immediately, because they've worked in labs. We're hoping to have Brett go to either the International Polyurethane Conference or the Green Chemistry Conference and present his results this fall or next spring. Uh, that's very satisfying. You know, you, you're spreading the word, you're getting published. I've had the best experience at College of Charleston that I could have asked for. Made a really good decision coming here. Being able to do undergraduate research my junior year summer is awesome and I'm going to hopefully continue to do it until I graduate. And if we do get published, that's going to be huge for uh, graduate school. You know, hopefully I'll just be able to continue my education.